Hello, let me introduce SpritzTube, a brand new airway management device that is capable of both superglottic and infraglottic ventilation. As you can see, it's a reinforced tube made of medical grade silicone that can be rest sterilized up to 30 times at 134 degrees. It features two cuffs, the distal one is dedicated to the esophagus and the proximal one is meant to be inflated in the oropharynx during the supraglottic ventilation procedure or inside the trachea when the tube's proximal part is used as an infraglottic device. The two cuffs are held aligned with the aid of a silicone-covered stylet which is malleable and non-traumatic. When the stylet is removed, the two cuffs can move independently. The cuffs are color-coded, the proximal one with 60 ml capacity is blue and the distal one with 10 ml capacity is white. SpritzTube is a supraglottic airway management device, and as such it can be used even by non-medical staff. Most importantly, it can be used in case of critically difficult airway, in patients with limited mouth opening, and in patients that have to maintain a neutral neck position, with no hyperextension. Also, it can be used in emergency out-of-hospital settings, in patients that cannot be stretched supine, contrary to a hospital setting, such as an operating room or intensive care unit. As a supraglottic device, spritz tube can be inserted blindly or with laryngoscope, and one of its exclusive features is that it can be used as an infraglottic device all by itself, no additional devices or attachments are needed to complete the intubation procedure. Once inserted in supraglottic configuration, spritz tube ensures the patient's ventilation, which gives the operator necessary time to evaluate further steps in a more relaxed way and to proceed with orotracheal intubation with the aid of any existing video intubating instrument that can be introduced through the spritz tube's lumen and serve as a guide for video-assisted intubation in the constantly ventilated patient. For example, a rigid fiberscope, a flexible fiberscope, a semi-rigid video stylet, just to name a few. Obviously, spritz tube allows to intubate the patient with the help of a classic or video laryngoscope as well, although these methods do require a short interruption of the ventilation.